my channel it is Lydia if you're new around here what's up welcome if not get in the back you already know what time it is so today I'm coming to you guys with another one of those videos that you guys have requested over time and time again the very first one that I did of these you loved this is my what I eat in a day to stay fit lose weight and I mean uh, yeah, I was gonna say it's realistic but I don't really know this is more of like a keto way of eating I won't say that I do keto because as I always say any chance I get I am entirely susceptible to a pizza and also a cheeky drink and a cocktail on the weekends so I wouldn't say that I do keto exactly because in keto you're not meant to eat any carbs at all no excuses you're not meant to have any sugar at all no excuses so i feel like i just say i eat with a keto way and to be honest it works it's worked for me it's worked for me like ever since that first video that i did i've lost even more weight in fact this is the smallest that i've been ever and i'm avoiding sharing numbers and stuff because i don't want to make anyone feel bad about themselves and whatever stage they might be at right now so i won't be sharing numbers and weight but I mean, you guys can physically see that I look different. If you've watched this channel, you can literally see that I physically look a lot different than what I even looked like at the start of lockdown. Yeah, so today I have basically brought you guys along with me as I've been eating my food all the way from the morning until now, which is the evening time. I'm kind of starting the video at the end of the day, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I try to make it a little bit different by mixing in some questions that you guys had sent to me on Instagram regarding my weight loss. And so I've mixed that in as I show you the recipes as well. And I've given you three recipes, three new recipes to add on from the first ones that I already shared before. Okay, breakfast, let's go. So we're having omelette, greens, tomatoes with some halloumi, love halloumi. Also love eggs. If you know anything about me, you know I love eggs. I just think they're so simple to make. You can have them for breakfast, lunch, hell, you can even have them for dinner. As we're frying this up, I'm gonna quickly share a little bit more detail on the keto diet for those who may not have heard of it. So basically on keto, fat and protein is good and carbs and sugars are literally the number one enemy. So forget that. And whilst fruit is usually like a good thing in normal diets, fruit on the keto diet is a no-no because of the sugar content. So you wanna try and avoid that. Saying that, tomatoes are actually officially fruits. Y'all knew that? <laughs> but on this occasion because they actually contain very very limited carbs they're completely fine for you to have if you're going to be doing this style of diet so as you can see i'm using some seasoning on my food you'll see this throughout the whole video because for me it's important for me to actually enjoy the food that i'm eating so seasoning is just it's just part of that there's no there's no two ways about this and of course just make sure that you watch your salt content i am using a little bit of salt here but watch that high blood pressure yo So I have sat down. So this is my breakfast, so, so delicious. It's basically an omelet with a side of greens, halloumi cheese, and fried tomatoes. Super, super, super keto. So I'm gonna have my breakfast, and as I do that, I'm gonna answer some questions which you guys asked me regarding my diet on Instagram. Mm, it's everything that I like, everything that I love. I love cheese, I love tomatoes. I'm in love with eggs. So you know it's a 10 out of 10 for me. So one of the questions that I'm being asked a lot is regarding calorie counting and whether it's something that I do. So the answer to that is that it entirely depends on what's going on in my life. So for example, if I want to go away, if I have any particular thing that I want to look especially snatched for, then I will go to calorie counting, but on an everyday basis, the answer is no. So when I am calorie counting, I keep my calories anywhere between 1,200 to 1,500 max. Now that might sound low to others, but this is first of all, before I go into this, 
I have to say I'm not a licensed dietitian or nutritionist. This is just what I do. But the reason why I have my calories at 1,000 to 1,500 when I'm calorie counting is because I have used a website. I'm gonna link it in the description box of this video. And that website is basically something that I use to help me reach my goals. So this is basically a calorie calculator which can be used to estimate the number of calories a person needs to consume each day. This calculator can also provide some simple guidelines for gaining or losing weight. So this website is not just for anyone who wants to lose weight. If you want to gain weight, you can also use the calculator. So what's great about it is that it's got metrics. You can use like, this is not sponsored by the way, this is just something that I use. But you put your age, your gender, your height, your weight, and even your activity level. So once you press calculate, it goes into the next page and it just basically tells you the number of daily calories that you should take according to what your goal may be, whether it's weight loss or weight gain. So for each individual person is entirely different and maybe it's worth you having a look if you're on a weight loss or even a weight gaining journey. So next lot of questions, I'm gonna bash them up together again. It's all regarding eating habits and if I've gone back to like unhealthy eating habits, whether I'm avoiding any foods, whether I still eat like junk food like McDonald's, it's just kind of all that kind of questions. So, answer to that is yes, I still do. Like, you guys, if you watch my vlogs, I am not somebody who's gonna lie to you. I try as much as possible to eat in a keto way, but one thing that I will say is that on the weekends, it's game time. Game time. And that's why I kind of say that I don't necessarily do keto. I eat in a keto style, but I will always have a pizza at the end of the week, and I do drink sometimes. But again, this all entirely depends on what I'm doing. If it's a time when I'm like super strict and I'm counting my calories, best believe I'm not drinking my calories away. Don't do that. Like there's so many calories in just drinks and alcohol and there's so much sugar. And when you do keto, you know already that you should be avoiding sugar and carbs as much as possible. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do avoid junk, but on the weekends, I will be susceptible to a pizza slash a burger slash a little takeaway meal, you know, just so that I can enjoy life. But if you are trying to do strict keto, I strongly advise that you don't do what I'm doing because you will gain weight. Keto, you can't have the best of both worlds. Really, you can't. Um, you're either fully in it or you're not. And that's the hard truth. So for me, I eat in a keto style, in a keto way, because I can actually maintain that as opposed to just saying strictly keto, which wouldn't work for me. However, when I am on full on keto and I'm craving like a dirty meal, like a Big Mac, I'll just go and have the Big Mac. I've told you guys this before. You can go and have your Big Mac whilst you're on keto, but just remove the bun. Literally ask them, let me get a Big Mac without the bonds and that gives you a keto burger you know so it's really like up to you if you're craving something i promise you can probably find a way to go around it to make it like a keto way but yeah i still do eat junk food sometimes like it's just i'm not gonna sit here and lie because you guys see me in my stories drinking <laughs> Okay, lunchtime, so prawns with fried cauliflower rice. Let's get it. Now, I used to be the biggest fan of rice, even now I still am, but rice is so anti-keto and that's so bad vibes. So instead, I have been trying cauliflower rice. Dot is actually the one who put me on this. It takes a little bit of a while to get used to the taste, I cannot lie, but ladies think about the waste think about the snatch of roux i know you're gonna try it and so here we're just seasoning some pre-cooked prawns adding a little seasoning chili wake it up you know a little bit of oil just wake it up a little bit how, how do people eat this stuff unseasoned i don't get it anyway fry up the prawns <laughs> Fry in the garlic, fry in your onions, add in the prawns first, cook the prawns down and then eventually you're going to add in your rice after. Look at that. Wow. It actually looks so good. I could actually eat this again. I love the fact that cauliflower rice actually fills up your stomach. So it fills, you feel full, you feel full. Because one thing about keto, you might be feeling hungry sometimes, I can't lie. Because when you take out carbs out of your diet, when we're used to having carbs, that's really what fills up our stomach a lot of the time. So it takes a little bit of adjusting, but just have your snacks, girl. So let's plate up and then I'm gonna answer another question that you guys have over lunch. So this is the second meal and this is so delicious. This is basically prawn fried rice and the rice is made from cauliflower and I've added a little bit of lime. I can't lie. The cauliflower rice takes some getting used to. It took me a minute to get used to it too, but it works really well as a replacement for rice. And the prawns, the prawns, these are already pre-cooked, but 
you know, we're gonna add a bit of seasoning to it. So this is a really, really super simple, super, super simple quick meal that you can make. I normally have two meals in a day. I have like a first meal and a second meal. This would be my second meal. That would be normally be it for me. I really think that fills me up. And if anything, another question that everyone's been asking is in regards to cravings. Like, what do I do about cravings? What do I do when I feel peckish at night? What do I do then? I have a watermelon. <laughs> If you guys follow my home account, you know I'm completely obsessed with watermelons. It's just like full of water. I don't even know if they're officially keto or not, but other fruits that are keto that I always use to snack on is blueberries or raspberries. Love, 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 love those. And especially if you mix the blueberries or the raspberries with some like Greek full fat yogurt, that's a snack. So yeah, that's what I do when I get like sugar cravings or when I get, when I get, yeah, when I get pethish at night and if I feel really, really hungry, like I'll just go and eat. Like even now, I cooked a third meal to show you guys again. If you watch my first video of what I eat in a day, you know that I did the same thing. I just showed you a third meal option. So I'm definitely gonna do that because you guys love a recipe. Um, But this is me for lunch, I guess, all my second meal. I'm not even tell you what time it is. Just know that this is my second meal. Delicious. So the last recipe I'll be sharing is a chicken with green beans and halloumi because I love halloumi and I live for it. First things first, wash your chicken. Don't need to tell you that twice. Get rid of all the weird, funny, funky little bits. I love chicken thighs. Listen, on keto, <laughs> no more chicken breast because really and truly, who wants to eat chicken breast? It's so dry. So season up your chicken, make sure you put all your favorite bits in there. I love to make my food taste good, then that way I can enjoy it and forget about all the bread that I'm not eating. <laughs> now lunch time so we're gonna get to cook this has been marinated for some hours now it looks so so good i'm gonna put it in the oven 40 45 minutes i mean just cook the chicken until it's done okay 220 also fahrenheit i think celsius dot says celsius will work in celsius cook the cook the chicken okay <laughs> This is the chicken. Look at how delicious that, that looks. That came out really well. I'm not gonna have this, but this would be my third meal, okay? Again, sticking to the very keto-esque style of eating by having protein. And then we've got really good fats here in halloumi cheese. And we've got some long runner beans as well, which we've fried as well. I guess, to be honest, someone was asking about carbs. Like, do I completely avoid carbs? And the honest answer is, you actually cannot completely avoid carbs. Like there's carbs in fiber, there's carbs in pretty much everything, but it's just avoiding things that are basically super carby. Avoid those, but you know, you get carbs in like, and stuff like this. So I'm just gonna plate this up just to show you what I would have. It's a very simple meal, great for lunch. For me, I probably wouldn't have this as a dinner because I feel like this might be a little bit heavy for a dinner. But again, really, it's up to you. These are just all options of recipes that you could have. I love halloumi cheese. Love, 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 love. Look at how that came. Let me plate this up and then I'll end the video with you guys. Quickly, before I go, I'm gonna run through some snacks because I know that people are gonna ask what snacks I have. Like I said, here, raspberries. I love raspberries, I love blueberries. This makes for a fantastic midnight snack. This with some yogurt, mm, love that. And then of course you get these little like antipasti kind of um, plates which have olives, they've got chorizo, they've got a little bit of cheese, got some sun-dried tomatoes, all super, super keto. And I get this from like Aldi, Lidl, whichever one, like super keto friendly, love those. And of course, my faves. These are pistachio nuts. I don't know if they're 
technically officially keto because there's a few nuts that are not i know that almonds are great but i actually need to enjoy the food that i'm eating so i do always have these as you can see the packet's open um these are dried roasted and salted pistachio nuts so those are the snack options that i have and also watermelon watermelon is the best because it's literally like made up of mostly water and that's one of my favorite midnight snacks so those are snack options just in case you guys are looking for snack options i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you found it informative helpful let me know in the comments if you have found this video useful and i shall see you guys in my next one bye guys